Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy G there, and I'm back with the review. This time I have SH Figures Avengers Infinity War Falcon. Here's the box he comes in. Here's the front of the box. Got artwork on the front. On the side, got product shots of Falcon. On the back, got more product shots of Falcon. What he can do, what he comes with, and what he looks like. And Avengers Infinity War on the side. Not on the top. One is on the bottom. And off the box goes. And inside the box, you get your Falcon figure and also his accessories. Get the instruction sheet as usual. Get your little adapter to plug into his back for flight posing. Comes with an alternate head. And you can see how the head works. The little joint system inside there. You can see his little offset uh, ball peg. So you can get more articulation. I'll show that, demonstrate that off more in the articulation. You get a backpack that swaps out with the one he has on. And this one has a two ball joints for the wings they attach to. It comes with two pairs of extra hands, uh, relaxed and for holding his guns. It comes with two semi-automatic or automatic weapons. And they are sculpted very nicely. You can see. No paint on, just um, gray plastic. And it comes with his wings. You can see how they are. They don't uh, retract, nothing like that. Like I said before, they do plug in the ball joint right there to get ball joint action on there. They can also come with these handles that you have to assemble yourself. They are on ball joints, so you can have your figure hold it. And you can either use the relaxed hands, which I think looks more better, but in the product shots on the back, they have him using his um, weapon, his um, gun holding hands. Which looks kind of weird because you get the finger pointing right there. So it's, it's up to you what you want to do. But look at the detail on the wings. Look very nice. Nicely textured. Nice um, gunmetal paint on there. The red little pops a little bit too. And you got this right there, which you'll see on the figure. Now onto the Falcon figure. Take a quick look at him up close to his scope. Resembles Anthony Mackie. Not 100%, but if you look at it, like, like, that like Anthony Mackie. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this head has the same joint system as the other head, so you can get crazy articulation out of that. Look up squirrel very well. All right, look at his suit. Um, about this figure, he looks kind of pudgy. Look, like he's wearing a diaper in the back. It was kind of weird and stuff like that, so I'm not sure that's accurate. I think his, he don't look as pudgy in the movie. I don't think I know it's like a flight suit that he puts a paratroop down and with the wings and stuff like that, but I don't think I think it's a little bit more form fitting in the movie. But yeah, it looks great. Got the red paint, a little silver going out the route, black in the joints. Got the elbow pads, shoulder pads right there. Got the red chrome paint on the back. Looks great. Got these right there, the little thrusters. With it, but the figure does not come with an add on piece for that. But as far as articulation goes, like I said, you look up with a super squirrel look. I was gonna bend the neck back, also, neck goes forward, you can't look down, left and right, side tilt, side to side, all that good stuff. Arms will go around 360, it has a butterfly joint, it goes forward on both arms, no bicep rotation, but yeah, rotation at the um, the shoulder. So you can supplement that bicep rotation for that. Bends the elbow on a double joint. Minimal elbow rotation. Rotates at the wrist. It's on the hinge. You can flex up and down. Diaphragm joint. A little bit limited range out of that. You can rock side to side. All the way around. Waist rotation. Can let bend back, get more a little for the flight poses. Drop down joint leg, go down, kick out a little bit more, almost 90 degrees without going out to the sides. Can do the splits about that much. Can kick back only but slightly. Rotation of a groin. Double bend knee. 
flex down the foot about that much flex up in the foot and he has a toe tilt very limited though and he has a ankle rocker but it does get kind of hindered because of the bottom of his shin guards now let's see how all these accessories work with this guy you can't pop his head off like so and you put this one on that has the uh, the goggles it's probably the head that I'm on my go with for my display go on there and like I said get the same range of motion that's great the backpack for the wings you pop it off so you put this one on and he does not come for a red wing and you just put the wings on red wings is a little sidekick drone but in the comics is an actual falcon that is his friend and you can pop off the hands And on right there, you take one of his guns. There's no his, he has no holsters to store his guns when they're not using them. And he holds the gun quite well. And there you pretty much have it. There he is, winged up, armed up. And he can, like I said, you can whatever you want to do with the other hand. Or the hands you want to have him around the gun or you want to still hold on to the wing while he's he's shooting doing his shoot shoot thing 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 and like i said this is only ball joint so you can move it to get it placed into that hand so how you want to do it it's up to you and here's size comparisons of him next to Nomad Cap and Bucky. You can see Cap is a little bit taller than him, but he's about the same height as Bucky. And here he is next to War Machine Mark III. Okay, y'all, there you have it. Uh, he's a nice figure. figure. Um, looks the part. It works in your collection. But if you have the Marvel Legends one, I never handled that one, but you might have been be okay with that if you, if you if you don't have that one you can go with this looks very nice in my display the um comes with a good amount of accessories the hands are good for the flight poses that you want to do it doesn't matter they don't have a holding hand for those handles but the um, relaxed hands or even possibly the the gun holding hands work out just fine uh, neck articulation is wonderful but the only thing I don't really care about is just uh, how his flight suit looks on him. It looks really pudgy and stuff. All right, y'all. That's been it for me. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. I'll see y'all next time.